In this nugget, we're going to look at plant roots, absorbing water and minerals. Quickly, let's recap osmosis. So here we have a cell. And this is its cell membrane. The cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell. Osmosis is the net movement of water molecules across a partially permeable membrane from an area of higher water concentration to an area of lower water concentration. The cell membrane is partially permeable. It is a partially permeable membrane. A partially permeable membrane allows some things to pass through and not others. For example, small molecules like oxygen and carbon dioxide can diffuse through a cell membrane. However, larger molecules like starch are too large to diffuse through the membrane. Now let's look specifically at the net movement of water. The fluid outside a cell will usually be a different concentration to the fluid inside a cell. This means that water will either move into the cell or out of the cell. If the cell is more concentrated than the surrounding fluid, it means there is a higher concentration of water outside the cell. As the net movement of particles is from a higher concentration to a lower concentration, and large molecules can't move across the cell membrane because they're too big, the water will flow into the cell until the number of water molecules inside the cell and outside the cell is balanced. Remember, some water molecules will still flow out of the cell, but it is the net, which means overall movement, that we're interested in. If the cell is less concentrated than the surrounding solution, that means there's more water inside the cell than outside, and water will flow out of the cell until there is the same number on both sides of the membrane. Remember, some water molecules will still move against the concentration gradient, but it is the net movement that we're interested in. Now let's look at active transport. Active transport is the movement of particles across a membrane against a concentration gradient. It requires energy transferred during respiration. In diffusion or osmosis, the net movement of these pink particles would be out of the cell, down the concentration gradient. But in active transport, the particles are moved against the concentration gradient from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. This allows vital nutrients to be absorbed, even if there aren't very many of them in the environment. The roots of a plant perform many important functions. We will be looking at the absorption of water and minerals, but roots also anchor and stabilise the plant, and some specialised roots store food. Roots are covered in millions of root hairs. These increase the surface area of the roots even more to ensure efficient water and mineral uptake. Water is absorbed by osmosis and minerals are absorbed by active transport. Here is the structure of a root. Minerals are dissolved in water found in the soil. The water and minerals are absorbed by the root hair cells and then transported around the plant in the xylem vessels. The phloem vessels transport nutrients. Roots have a very large surface area. The root hairs increase the surface area further to speed up absorption of water and minerals. Root hair cells do not contain any chloroplasts as they are underground. Root hair cells are found on the surface of plant roots. They are specialised for absorbing water and minerals. They grow long hairs which grow deep into the soil. This gives the roots a large surface area for absorption. Root hair cells do not carry out photosynthesis because it is dark in the soil. This explains why they do not contain chloroplasts. Absorbing minerals from the soil requires energy because they are absorbed by active transport. Root hair cells have lots of mitochondria to release lots of energy. They also have a large permanent vacuole, which helps to speed up the absorption of water by osmosis because it has a high concentration of salts and sugars. There is usually a higher concentration of water outside the plant root, so water is absorbed by osmosis. 
However, there is usually a higher concentration of mineral ions inside the plant root. So these are absorbed by active transport. Root hair cells have a lot of mitochondria to provide energy for active transport. To summarise, roots have a large surface area and root hairs increase the surface area further. This speeds up the rate of absorption of water and minerals. Water is absorbed by osmosis. Minerals are absorbed by active transport. Root hair cells do not contain any chloroplasts as they are underground, where there is no sunlight and photosynthesis does not occur. Keywords. Exchange surface, where substances are moved across membranes in an organism. Osmosis. The net movement of water molecules across a partially permeable membrane from an area of higher water concentration to an area of lower water concentration, down a concentration gradient. Active transport. The net movement of particles across a membrane from an area of lower concentration to an area of higher concentration, against a concentration gradient, using energy released during respiration. Mineral. An essential nutrient that is needed in only small amounts. Xylem. Vascular tissue that carries water and dissolved nutrients around the plant.